Hi guys, welcome to Complete Machine Learning and Data Science course. I have created the Complete Machine Learning and Data Science course to help you learn the most while going after a new and promising career in data science. Machine learning and data science will allow you to achieve great success, but sometimes the hardest part is getting started. This course is packed with information and designed to focus on your skills and career. In a world where data is of the utmost importance, having machine learning and data science skills in your resume can drastically change the outcome of your career. Don't you think? In this course, we are going to take a step-by-step -step approach to help you learn machine learning and data science. I have divided this I have divided this course into four subcategories which are actually subcategories of the machine learning itself. We will start with understanding and learning the R programming language which is one of the most popular languages for machine learning and data science. Then we will move on to the data visualization which is again very critical in this field. It will be followed up by fundamentals of applied statistics and machine learning. Here we will learn the statistical concepts which are really required to make any significant progress in machine learning. We will understand them because they are very common in interviews for machine learning and data scientist jobs. So you need to have them in your toolkit. We will then cover whole array of machine learning models. You will also receive guidance on how to create your portfolio and plan for career switch into this promising industry. So we will cover machine learning fundamentals like supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, etc. In case of R, we are going to cover its fundamental, how we can use it for data selection and data manipulation, which is data wrangling. As a data scientist, this is something which you will be doing most of your time. So contrary to popular belief, most data scientists spend most of your time doing data wrangling instead of developing machine learning models and you will see how and why. We are also covering those elements which are usually missing in other courses like handling missing values. Now this is very critical but somehow you won't find many courses with this information. Then we are going to cover how to read various kind of files in R and for data visualization, we are going to cover all the major and important base functions along with popular libraries like ggplot2, maps, scatter3dplot and lattice. In applied statistics, we are going to talk about descriptive analysis versus inferential analysis. We will also talk about t-test, confidence interval, standard error, standard deviation, variance and hypothesis testing, which is again missing in many courses. These things are also not very common in other courses. You can go through their curriculum. So I think even if you don't enroll in this course, you can't avoid applied statistics. So please use whatever source you like to learn these topics, especially if you are looking to improve your odds when it comes to switching your career into machine learning and data science. So these things are kind of must. And as we are talking about important topics, ANOVA is something which is again a very critical and widely used in machine learning, but somehow is missing in many such courses. So we have got that covered here along with linear regression, logistic regression, dimension reduction techniques like PCA, clustering fundamentals and the implementation of k-means. Then we are going to talk about tree-based models like CART and random forest. CART is also very popular and you need to learn this. CART is also not commonly covered in the courses but it is really popular in the industry so I have included that in this course along with other usual suspects like KNN, naive based neural networks. For practice, you are going to have quizzes and over 10 projects. So that is really going to give you hands-on experience on machine learning. As far as intended audience is concerned, we are looking at students who are interested in getting into machine learning and data science. Then professionals, mid-level, junior level, who are looking to move into this field because this field is really high paying and, and certainly better growth prospects. So this is something which is attracting a lot of 
working professionals like business analysts, software programmers, IT analysts, etc. And this course is meant for beginners and intermediate users. If you are already advanced user and have already knowledge of all these algorithms, then you don't need to get into this. But yeah, in that case, you can definitely focus on learning advanced models, advanced techniques. So as I have mentioned earlier, this course is really comprehensive in terms of providing you a strong foothold of course learning is a continuous process so you will have to continue even after this course but this will give you a really good heads up a good starting point i hope you find it helpful and yes if you have any question please reach out to me directly thank you